Genius Quotes presents Best Quotes from Friedrich Nietzsche. Shared joys make a friend, not shared sufferings. There is an innocence in admiration. It is found in those to whom it has never yet occurred that they, too, might be admired someday. Sleeping is no mean art. For its sake, one must stay awake all day. Germany is a great nation only because its people have so much Polish blood in their veins. There are various eyes. Even the Sphinx has eyes. And as a result, there are various truths. And as a result, there is no truth. The surest way to corrupt a youth is to instruct him to hold in higher esteem those who think alike than those who think differently. We often refuse to accept an idea merely because the tone of voice in which it has been expressed is unsympathetic to us. Whoever does not have a good father should procure one. Talking much about oneself can also be a means to conceal oneself. Behind all their personal vanity, women themselves always have an impersonal contempt for women. Whoever has provoked men to rage against him has always gained a party in his favor, too. To use the same words is not a sufficient guarantee of understanding. One must use the same words for the same genus of inward experience. Ultimately, one must have one's experiences in common. Is Wagner a human being at all? Is he not rather a disease? He contaminates everything he touches. He has made music sick. The best author will be the one who is ashamed to become a writer. In everything, one thing is impossible. Rationality. Necessity is not an established fact, but an interpretation. There are no moral phenomena at all, but only a moral interpretation of phenomena. There is not enough love and goodness in the world to permit giving any of it away to imaginary beings. Undeserved praise causes more pangs of conscience later than undeserved blame, but probably only for this reason, that our power of judgment are more completely exposed by being overpraised than by being unjustly underestimated. The desire to annoy no one, to harm no one, can equally well be the sign of a just as of an anxious disposition. In Christianity, neither morality nor religion come into contact with reality at any point. In music, the passions enjoy themselves. To be ashamed of one's immorality, that is a step on the staircase at whose end one is also ashamed of one's morality. I am a pure-blooded Polish nobleman without a single drop of bad blood, certainly not German blood. When a hundred men stand together, each of them loses his mind and gets another one. Go up close to your friend, but do not go over to him. We should also respect the enemy in our friend. Many a man fails as an original thinker simply because his memory it too good. The aphorism in which I am the first master among Germans are the forms of eternity. My ambition is to say in ten sentences what everyone else says in a book, what everyone else does not say in a book. Our vanity is hardest to wound precisely when our pride has just been wounded. Experience as a desire for experience does not come off. We must not study ourselves while having an experience. Admiration for a quality or an art can be so strong that it deters us from striving to possess it. Some are made modest by great praise, others insolent. I would believe only in a god that knows how to dance. Idleness 
is the parent of psychology. The abdomen is the reason why man does not readily take himself to be a god. A good writer possesses not only his own spirit, but also the spirit of his friends. I do not know what the spirit of a philosopher could more wish to be than a good dancer, for the dance is his ideal, also his fine art, finally also his fine art, finally also the only kind of piety he knows, his divine service. There are slavish souls who carry their appreciation for favors done them so far that they strangle themselves with the rope of gratitude. What is good? All that heightens the feeling of power, the will to power, power itself in man. Great indebtedness does not make men grateful, but vengeful. And if a little charity is not forgotten, it turns into a gnawing worm. Regarding life, the wisest men of all ages have judged alike. It is worthless. I love those who do not know how to live for today. Not when truth is dirty, but when it is shallow, does the enlightened man dislike to wade into its waters. Rejoicing in our joy, not suffering over our suffering, makes someone a friend. He who laughs best today will also laughs last. The word Christianity is already a misunderstanding. In reality, there has been only one Christian, and he died on the cross. Judgments, value judgments concerning life, for or against, can in the last resort never be true. They possess value only as symptoms. They come into consideration only as symptoms. In themselves, such judgments are stupidities. I still live. I still think. I still have to live, for I still have to think. What? You seek something? You wish to multiply yourself tenfold, a hundredfold? You seek followers? Seek zeros? People who have given us their complete confidence believe that they have a right to ours. The inference is false. A gift confers no rights. Extreme positions are not succeeded by moderate ones, but by contrary, extreme positions. Character is determined more by the lack of certain experiences than by those one has had. If a woman possesses manly virtues, one should run away from her, and if she does not possess them, she runs away from herself. Existence really is an imperfect tense that never becomes a present. An artist has no home in Europe except in Paris. Although the most acute judges of the witches and even the witches themselves were convinced of the guilt of witchery, the guilt, nevertheless, was non-existent. It is thus with all guilt. It is good to express a thing twice right at the outset, and so to give it a right foot and also a left one. Truth can surely stand on one leg, but with two it will be able to walk and get around. And we should consider every day lost, on which we have not danced at least once. And we should call every truth false, which was not accompanied by at least one laugh. What do I care about the purring of one who cannot love like the cat? For art to exist, for any sort of aesthetic activity to exist, a certain physiological precondition is indispensable. Intoxication. If there is something to pardon in everything, there is also something to condemn. When art dresses in worn-out material, it is most easily recognized as art. He who fights with monsters might take care lest he thereby become a monster. Is not life a hundred times too short for us to bore ourselves? 
What do you regard as most humane to spare someone's shame? Is man one of God's blunders, or is God one of Mon's blunders? Stupid as a man, say the women. Cowardly as a woman, say the men. Stupidity in a woman is unwomanly. Words are but symbols for the relations of things to one another and to us. Nowhere do they touch upon absolute truth. A subject for a great poet would be God's boredom after the seventh day of creation. Every man is a creative cause of what happens, a prima mobile with an original movement. Fanatics are picturesque. Mankind would rather see gestures than listen to reasons. There is a rollicking kindness that looks like malice. A friend should be a master at guessing and keeping still. You must not want to see everything. Do whatever you will, but first be such as are able to will. He who cannot give anything away cannot feel anything either. Sing me a new song. The world is transfigured. All the heavens are rejoicing. We do not hate as long as we still attach a lesser value, but only when we attach an equal or a greater value. Before the effect, one believes in different causes than one does after the effect. Plato was a bore. Nothing has been purchased more dearly than the little bit of reason and sense of freedom which now constitutes our pride. There are people who want to make men's lives more difficult for no other reason than the chance it provides them afterwards to offer their prescription for alleviating life, their Christianity, for instance. Whoever feels predestined to see and not to believe will find all believers too noisy and pushy. He guards against them. God is a thought who makes crooked all that is straight. Every church is a stone on the grave of a God-man. It does not want him to rise up again under any circumstances. There is nothing we like to communicate to others as much as the seal of secrecy together with what lies under it. Once spirit was God, then it became man, and now it is even becoming mob. The lie is a condition of life. You say it is the good cause that hallows even war, I say unto you. It is the good war that hallows any cause. The press, the machine, the railway, the telegraph are premises whose thousand-year conclusion no one has yet dared to draw. Whoever has witnessed another's ideal becomes his inexorable judge and, as it were, his evil conscience. There is, in general, good reason to suppose that in several respects the gods could all benefit from instruction by us human beings. We humans are more humane. All sciences are now under the obligation to prepare the ground for the future task of the philosopher, which is to solve the problem of value, to determine the true hierarchy of values. It says nothing against the ripeness of a spirit that it has a few worms. When one does away with oneself, one does the most estimable thing possible. One thereby almost deserves to live.